Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be recapping the Wilkes University football team's 45-12 Week 5 homecoming victory over Alvernia, and looking ahead to Week 6's matchup at Albright College. Our guest today is head coach John Jock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Adam. Now, Coach, the team's 4-0 for the first time since 2006. How does that feel? feels great. I mean, uh, kids have been playing really, really well. Um, we've won the games that have been on our schedule so far. You know what I mean? Uh, it's going to get tougher as these weeks go on here. Uh, we know that. Uh, we just got to prepare every week to go get our 1-0. Now, looking back at Saturday's game, the deeper stats might not read quite as dominating as the final score, but we made big plays when we needed to. What can we take away from being able to get a win without necessarily playing maybe our best game? Um, I think we played well. Uh, we had a lot of short fields, so the yardage may not reflect uh, having a dominating performance, but the defense did a fantastic job of getting us great field position and us being able to put points on the board there. Um, I'd love to see the defensive score as well. That's always a, bon a benefit. Um, I think for us, uh, we need to continue to improve on some of the penalty things. We gave them some short fields at times. Um, I thought defensively tackling, um, there were some things that we missed, uh, especially against their athletic quarterback, and we're going to play some athletic quarterbacks in the weeks to come. So a lot of things to improve on, but I think as a whole, uh, it's great to go out and get a victory over a quality opponent in conference. Now, with the score what it was, it allowed us to take some of our starters out and give guys that may not get a lot of experience, younger guys, guys that are lower on the depth chart sometime on Saturday. How do you think that opportunity will benefit us down the road? I know it's a long season, uh, and we need a lot of healthy guys to be able to go the entire distance. Um, for us to be in a conference championship race is a new feeling for us uh, in the last two years. Uh, I think that we're going to need more and more bodies as the season goes on. And for those guys to get varsity game experience is a great benefit to them. Uh, I think we pulled the majority of our starters on the offensive side of the ball midway through the third quarter. Um, and it gave a lot of young offensive linemen and some of those guys that haven't seen as much varsity time. They've played a little bit in their JV games and whatnot. But it gives those guys great varsity experience and gives them a little bit more confidence uh, that they can go out there, they can perform at any level at any time. Now this week we're heading to Albright with a matchup against Delaware Valley on the horizon. How do we keep our guys focused on this week's matchup and not looking ahead? Uh, we don't ever worry about two opponents ahead. So we're focused 100% on Albright right now. Uh, that's a very, very good football team. Uh, they've played three top 20 teams in the last four weeks. Um, so they've played a lot of really, really good competition, including the number one team in the country. Uh, and we know that they're a talented opponent. Um, they are going to be the probably the biggest and most physical football team that we've played to this point yet. Um, they throw the ball very, very well with a senior quarterback. Um, and they put a lot of points us on us last year. You know what I mean? So it was a very good game, and we kind of scraped one out by the thin of our teeth last year. So uh, we're looking for a very, very good game, and our guys are very focused on this week. Now talking a little bit more about Albright, what do we need to do to come out with a victory this week? I think we need to be able to make them one-dimensional. Uh, they've definitely improved in their run game, um, and I think that if we can make them – get in long yardage situations on second and third down, that'll be very, very advantageous for us. Uh, we definitely have to limit the big plays. That was one of the big things last year against Albright that really hurt us was the down the field throws in the middle of the field. Uh, and then also our turnovers that really hurt us last year. We gave them some short fields. We threw three interceptions. I believe we had one or two fumbles uh, that they turned into points. If we can eliminate some of those things, I think that we'll put ourselves in a better situation come the fourth quarter. Uh, but they're a good team and they do a good job of creating those things. So uh, we know that we need to execute our game plan and that will lead to a victory on Saturday. Wilkes University football team looks to move to 5-0 and with a week six trip to Albright College. Kickoff scheduled for 1 p.m. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this week. Thank you.